Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Gaffer and Gear. This episode's by request. So I've had quite a few people message me asking me, should you buy a combo stand like this? Or is it okay to use something like a 600D with an F10 on a C stand instead and save some money? So in today's episode, we're gonna go over why I think having a moderately heavy light like a 600D with an F10 on a C stand is a really bad idea. All right, so if you've got something like this, a 600D with an F10, and the only stand you've got left is a C stand, and you're using it at this sort of height, it's not the end of the world. Just pop a shop bag on it, and you're probably gonna be okay. Now, the only thing I would do here to improve this sort of scenario is I would put the weight over the large leg, okay? That reduces the chances of it tipping. But just to show you how bad a match this is, this light to this stand, watch what happens if I turn the light around quickly. Okay, see that it gets out of shape real fast. All right, so in today's episode, we're not just gonna tell you, you know, don't put a, a light this heavy on a C stand, put it on a, on a combo stand. I'm gonna share with you some concepts that'll help you uh, better pick which light to go with which light stand. Okay, so to start off with, is a very simple concept you can try, and that's uh, get a shop bag and hold it uh, in the center of your legs. Okay, so get it high up, in between the center of your legs, okay? And you'll find that you're balanced very well. Then move it off to one side and you'll see that you start to tip, okay? So very, very simple concept. Now the same concept applies with your light stands. You wanna have the weight in the center of the legs as much as you can. And that's where we hit the first problem with C stands. You see C stand legs are not all the same length. So instead of your weight being in the center, it's a little bit off to one side but not the end of the world nine times out of 10. But here's where the big problem with the legs is, and it's to do with how the legs are attached to the center column. On a C stand, they're only attached at the bottom. So there's no support midway up the post like you get on a combo stand where you've got an attachment at the bottom and an attachment midway up the first post. So the difference is the center post moves around a lot on a C stand compared to that on a combo stand. All right, so let's take it outside and put them up high and see what difference it makes. Okay, now I'm standing on it with my full body weight, which is 74 kilograms, because if I just put a couple of shop bags, this will tip over. All right, so watch how much play it's got in it. Okay, let's do the same thing now with the combo stand and see what difference it makes. Now here's a side-by-side -side comparison. So the C stand and the combo stand are at the same height, which is the maximum height that the C stand goes to. Now I also did the same test again with the combo stand at full height. And as you can see, it's got a bit more play, but nowhere near as much as the C stand. Now for me, the 600D with the F10 on this stand is an okay matchup as long as I'm not going full extension. See, at full extension, it had a bit too much wobble in it for me to feel safe. Now in that scenario, I would rather go the wind-up stand here. And it's along the same principle. The supporting legs go higher up the center column than they do on the combo stand, giving me much more support. The next issue with using a moderately heavy light on a C stand is the size of the footprint or how wide the legs are. You see, the legs are nowhere near as wide as they are on a combo stand. Now to give you some idea of why that's important, here's another simple exercise we'll do with a shot bag. Okay, so have your legs rel relatively close together, hold the shot bag above your head and tilt it off to one side. Okay, and as you can see, one leg lifts off the ground. Then spread your legs just a little bit wider and do it again. It's amazing how much difference just having a slightly wider footprint can make to your stability when you're up high. Now I know what some of you are thinking, that's okay, what we'll do is we'll just use a crap load of shop bags and that'll stop the light from tipping over. Well, your next problem is leverage, okay? So with the light stand at this height, if I use my palm, I can push the uh, leg off the ground, no problem at all. But if I go a bit higher up, leverage comes into play. So let's just go about that high up. And this really shows off the problem with the small footprint. I'm gonna use my small finger. 
and I can tip the light over with my small finger because it's got a small footprint. It doesn't have a lot of stability at the base. Now the main reason I'm able to tip this light over with a fingertip, it's actually the center of balance on this light. The center of gravity with the F10 is about here. Now if you line that up with the footprint of the light stand, you can see it's right on the edge of the footprint of the small legs. Now here's the last thing you need to know about C stands. The most common reason C stands fall over outdoors is wind. Now to give you an example, let's say we've got this light reasonably high up and we get a gust of wind come along. We've got a lot of surface area here. We've got enough surface area that that wind will then blow our center column a little bit off center or a little bit off level. That will then lift a leg off the ground because we've got a small footprint. And here's the icing on the cake. When you put all the weight onto two C-stand legs, they tend to fold up. I'm Andrew Locke. See you on the next episode of Gaffering Gear.